Probably the easiest way to save energy is to clean the inside of the heating system because this can also be the reason why it smells unpleasant when you switch on the heating. In this short video, I'll show you exactly how you can easily clean the inside of the heater using various tricks. Over time, a lot of dust collects in your radiator. But this is not so easy to remove, especially if you still have such a grill on your radiator. If not, you can get into the grooves just like that. If it's still on, it's much more difficult, but it is very easy to remove it. Either you have a small clip on the side that you can unscrew or remove, or if this is not there, as with my heater, then you simply have to push the lower side panel upwards once. Then you can remove it to the side at the top to simply pull out the grill. Now we have access to the individual slats. But with a vacuum cleaner, you can only clean the top of them. But most of the dirt is in the entire slats. And this is where you can get in really easily with a hairdryer because you can simply blow the dust out. Ideally, you should place a towel under the heater. You can also moisten it a little so that the dust sticks to it better and doesn't fly around the whole apartment. However, even with this method, a little dust naturally remains in the slats. The much better option is to use a radiator cleaning brush. This is really nice and long and you can stick it through the entire slats, i.e. from top to bottom. If you like, you can also moisten the whole thing a little beforehand to ensure that the dust doesn't fly all over the apartment. Now simply go through each individual slat, pushing the whole thing from top to bottom to pick up all the dust. All you have to do at the end is vacuum the dust off the floor and the radiators are clean again. You can find the link to a radiator cleaning brush in the video description and if you want to save even more energy costs then you should definitely bleed the heating regularly. You can find out exactly how this works and what you need to pay attention to in the video that you can now see on the screen. Click directly on it.